almost everyone in the Western world will have taken medicines at some time in their life to help combat a disease. Typically for every drug that reaches the market, a pharmaceutical company such as GlaxoSmithKline will make 10,000 new chemicals. The vast majority will fail because they're not effective enough or are toxic or have unacceptable side effects, for example. Traditionally, organic chemicals are made, chemists use the word synthesized, one at a time in apparatus like this, which will produce about a gram or so of compound. Each stage of a synthesis can take up to several hours and many stages may be needed to make the required substance. Modern techniques of screening chemicals for biological activity require only a few micrograms of compounds for initial testing and can be carried out rapidly with the aid of robots like these. This means that new techniques for synthetic organic chemistry are being used to make small quantities of many chemicals quickly. This technique, called combinatorial chemistry, allows many compounds of a similar type to be made simultaneously using a robot, a group of computer-controlled syringes. Normally, compounds are made in arrays of 96 on a plate with 12 rows of 8 wells. The search for a new medicine will start by identifying a disease that is not effectively treated by existing medicines. Chemists don't make compounds at random. The starting point for a new medicine might be a chemical that exists naturally in the body or an existing drug, for example. Or scientists might understand something about the disease, that it involves an enzyme, for example, and speculate that a compound that interacts with the enzyme could affect the course of the disease. One approach is to synthesize large numbers of compounds with small variations in structure. These can be tested, screened, for possible activity as drugs by seeing how well they bind to an enzyme, for example. These tests can be done on isolated enzymes or cells. They're called in vitro, meaning in glass tests. Chemists will develop a general reaction scheme that allows many similar compounds to be made by the same route. To take a simple example, 96 different compounds, called esters, could be made by reacting 8 alcohols with 12 carboxylic acids. Once this sequence has been programmed into the computer, the robot will add the appropriate reagents to the reaction vessels in the correct order. The reaction scheme can have any number of stages. In combinatorial chemistry, reactions are often carried out on beads of polystyrene resin. The starting material is bonded to the resin and the new molecule is built up in stages. Finally, the product is broken off, cleaved from the resin using a strong acid. Compounds can go for chemical analysis and biological testing still in the 12 by 8 plates that are accepted by all the instruments. Promising compounds from this stage, called lead compounds, need to be made in larger quantities for more detailed testing. In this apparatus, developed at GlaxoSmithKline, larger quantities, around 10 to 100 milligrams, of the more promising compounds are made. This technique is called parallel synthesis. It can replicate all the traditional chemical techniques such as stirring, refluxing and so on, but is quicker because several compounds are still being made in parallel. Once a compound has been chosen for larger scale testing, normal ground glass apparatus like this can be used to make quantities of around one gram. A further scale-up to apparatus holding between 3 and 20 cubic decimeters can produce quantities of material of between 1 gram and 1 kilogram. The final stage before production is to make compounds on a pilot plant. This can make up to 100 kilograms for clinical tests on patients, and it can also be used to try out the techniques to be used on the manufacturing plant. Handling chemicals in these sorts of quantities is a far cry from robot syringes and even spatulas. 
by the time a product is being manufactured for sale, 10 years may have elapsed since the initial idea and 450 million pounds spent on the process.